Hey folks, it's Leon from Phoenix Home Gurus. Uh, one of the biggest questions we get asked by everybody is what is the best improvements you can make to a home to make it more marketable? Uh, what sort of things make you get the best bang for your buck for investing in a home for resale? Well, the reality is that that is a complicated question, much more complicated than just answering bathrooms, yada, yada. You wanna make sure that you know some of, the, some of the variables in your area and in your market. The most important thing is the market. If we have a market that is a very seller's market, in other words, multiple offers, people clamoring for your home, there's very little most of the time you need to do to make your house really shine. Uh, however, if we're in a market that there is an overabundance of supply, you have to compete and you have to really shine. Your house has to be one of the best ones to be able to be purchased ahead of all your neighbors that are trying to sell their homes as well. So once you do have that, then another thing you need to worry about is your area. So if you have an area where uh, certain amenities are not part of it, you can so easily upgrade beyond your home area where you put countertops where everybody has laminate. You, uh, you, you basically will make it so that no appraiser can justify your choices and that will mean a loss to you. So now once you've done that, then let's get into what, what people really are asking. Where is the big money to have, a, uh, to have a house sell and you get more money than you put into it? Right here is the, pot, the spot. We have found that kitchens are the area that actually helps sell the house the most. Curb appeal, kitchen. So what happens is that when we look at a listing and we're starting to analyze, okay, a listing's been on the market for a little while, why isn't it selling? We look online and see where have people fallen off? Where have people stopped looking for your house? Where they stop looking for your house is where they said, okay, they ran into something they could not get past. The kitchen is the first place that most people will stop for a house. And what happens with the kitchen? Well, if it has older cabinets, if it has a 1970s look or outdated look and whatever, what, whatsoever, there are ways you can really, really have a great outcome with your kitchen without spending a ton of money. Uh, at least in the Phoenix area, granite is becoming very inexpensive uh, relative to what it used to be. And cabinets, even if you have old oak cabinets, whitewashed oak cabinets or what have you, there are paint finishes that will make them look just like these or better. So there's a lot you can do to make the house more marketable. And this is the best place, this is the best bang for your buck in the kitchen. Now we're going to go to the backyard because the backyard is a huge, a huge area as well. Again, this one is hypersensitive to the, um, the area. So if nobody else has really blown out backyards, then you should not either. However, if you're running on dirt and, and everybody else has nice grass backyards or has nice pools and what have you, that's, that, you're not gonna compete well. So here in the backyard, a lot of people make some very huge mistakes. That is the biggest one right there. Never ever put in a pool and expect to get full value of the pool. Appraisers in Phoenix will give you no more than $10,000 even for an incredible pool. I've seen on occasion where you have outliers that really give a, lot of, a little more value for a pool, but you're lucky to get any kind of really nice pool for under, for under $30,000. You're not getting that money back. Don't put in a pool if you're about to sell your house. If you want it just to, to live like we did, we did it fully aware they're probably not going to get the value, but this is our home. This is, this is our life. This is part of what we wanted for our home. But what I do recommend is that you have it finished, that you have a home that has, uh, depending on your area, grass or gravel or plants, something so it's not dirt. Dirt is not easy to sell. So there's really inexpensive ways to do that. We have a client that recently went through and we're trying to figure out how to get her backyard as nice as possible for as little as possible. And we were able to do it for under $2,000 and make it nice. 
And that was a lot of, lot of work. So there's ways to do that. Now, one of the things is, we're, as we go back inside, bathrooms are also very important. Now, I mentioned that there are, there are treatments for the cabinets. Make sure you match them in the bathrooms. Uh, an outdated bathroom will really be a drag on a home. The, uh, you just don't, you, you don't want that. Curb appeal is also one of the biggest issues. We're not going to go out front because it's kind of a ways in this house. But curb appeal, if you can't see it, you can't sell it. So real simple things like clipping the hedges, making sure the, the grass is nice. I have had many a client that actually will, will not walk into a house because the curb appeal doesn't go. And it, the house could be beautiful on the inside. So it's important that you have the front, which is their first impression, as nice as possible. So uh, with all those in mind, the best thing you can do is to get with a local professional that knows the market, that knows the area, that knows what things are going for, and can, give, can advise you on the things that make the most sense. I try to spend as little as of my client's money as possible, so my con I am very conservative with the amount that I say to, to be spent. Uh, but uh, you got to make sure that every dollar is going to make a dollar or more for you or make it so you can sell your house ahead of somebody else. If you have any questions, feel free to get, reach out to me. Comment below. All your realtors, I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, different views on this one. Love to have your feedback. You know, you learn from other people's view, uh, viewpoints. That's all I have for today. Any questions, give me a holler. Thank you very much. Have a good day.